So some of the jobs I wanted to recommend to you would be finance. That's just something people rarely retire from. Computers, um, intelligence analyst, um, any kind of job where you're actually thinking, you tend to have less drama. And, and that's always a good thing. When people have to use their minds, then they're not trying to run over you with big trucks like my experiences <laughs> so and the other jobs that are really like hard jobs like cook if you're a cook like you're working every single day 15 hour days like you get no sleep and it's a killer job and no one respects you it's incredible how no one respects you but no one can go without food like I couldn't believe how they get no respect yet. But a lot of them have like this high drama thing going, which I don't know how they have the energy because it's incredible how much they work. And one of the men that I respect the most, he was m m so merciful to me. He was a cook and he made it through special forces, but um, they denied him. I don't know why. But uh, he was he was out there, and I'll tell you the story later. And then medic is also very labor. It's it killed my elbows and my back. Um, it can be very hard too. Um, infantry very hard on your back. So just because men are built stronger, it takes you longer to wear down, but you will wear down too. So all that um, backpacking and whatnot and mechanic, like by 10 years, you guys are finished. It, it took me four years, um, but you guys are finished within at least 10, if not before. So um, I don't know, unless you go to war and you get blown up, well, then you're done before that. So, and those are my thoughts on MOS. Just, um, especially if you're my child, like I would always tell you get a job where you have to think. And I wouldn't even recommend the language jobs because they really just kind of sit around and twiddle their thumbs and get into trouble. And um, I would recommend like the, um, where they're flying stuff because they seem to have things to do and didn't get into too much trouble. I can't remember what they call that job, but they said it's kind of like doing computer uh, computer games. Yeah, like a video game, but it seemed kind of boring. Oh, and then I want to talk about moms. So if you're a mom of small children, I definitely would not recommend joining the military, especially not active duty. And I did join, I had, my youngest was nine, but I had divorced and I was forced to leave my home. I could not even be in the same state as my children. It was too dangerous for me. Um, when I was going through school, it had been 17 months since I'd been away from them. My children don't really understand this. It was so difficult for me that I went to get counseling when I was in the army and I was denied promotion so not only that like women that get pregnant while they're in the army if they have like these MOS's these jobs where they have to go down to the motor pool you're you can't go down there when you're pregnant because of the fumes so the problem with that is oh it's great for you but it's not great for everybody else so I had to take over your jobs and I did not like that because it gave me a lot of extra work and you act like little children and I don't like that and I think it's irresponsible so if you want to have babies then you need to wait until you're finished with the military or don't join so that's what I have to say about that if you're a mom or you want to be a mom like just get out that's what I always say and on top of that like this is the military and you could die so it's not fair to that child that 
you go off, especially if they're under the age of eight years old, like you go off and die because the child is dependent on you and you're the person that can provide the best care and love for that child. I absolutely do not believe that that is a good choice for you or your child. There was a mom that came and she left, she was reserve or guard and she was in tears constantly to, through basic training. Uh, no, we were by then in, I think in medic school. She couldn't keep it together. Um, she was a mess all the time. She, I don't think she was married. She was in and out of relationships, but you know what you guys, when you're a mess like that, you put burden on everyone else because it's not good. Everyone else has issues too. We all have our own problems. And when you're immature like that, or you're a mess, like get it together. Cause then everybody else has to do your job. And I did not like that at all. Cause it, like I don't have the strength of a man. So I was doing like two or three jobs of other women. And that was definitely not fair. And that made me very angry. And I, we also had a doctor that had a child and she didn't show up for work. And look, I quit my job to raise my kids. It's a full-time job. And so I have strong opinions about that. If you're gonna be a mom, then be a mom and do a good job at it. Don't try and do both. You cannot receive a paycheck at a job and do it half-ass. Like do it well, whatever you're gonna do. And to be a mom requires a mom and a dad and you really need to do it right. Like, don't get pregnant and, and think that you can just kind of do it uh, without the help and support of the father. And, be, and you really need to be married to the father. Give it up for adoption, a child up for adoption. Don't have an abortion because that's killing a person. Be responsible people like don't go have sex in bunkers like they were doing in Kuwait that's crazy because it makes children and you're you might have the mindset still of a child but you are an adult even at very young ages so 